Hello everybody! Welcome to Andrew Jack Without a C's channel. I am Clark with an E at Scoosh with a Z here with the namely Andrew Jack and the lovely Ryan Kingdom. Say hello everybody. Huh? I'm lovely. Yes you are. Hello! Thank yeah. you. <laughs> and we are playing more Sly 2, so let's jump right on in. Let's go twice. <laughs> wow! Now what happened? I don't remember. Oh right. Hey, I Nila also has betrayed oh. everyone. Oh, that and is sending so bombs to the city. Can the Sly Gang make it out alive? Is she sending bombs to the city? Yeah, like, that, that's just like mailing them. I mean, planes, just like soldiers, mm, tanks. Oh, I see. So there's more than just bombs. It's a whole lot of nonsense. It's a whole, it's a whole thing. <laughs> Hi, cat. Hi, Lord. Hello. Ah, do we have a sly fan here? Um. Oh. It looks like. Oh, right. Um, That's right, Mark. I need to set you up with your chat. Oh. Oh yes. God. Oh no. I'm very oh. sorry. Oh no! Everything disappeared. Oh, oh the it's secret. Okay. Secrets are I revealed. Fixed it. And he's panicking for us. There you go. Mm. Oh, oh, massive slide fan. Hell yes. Yay! This is not a professional playthrough. This is a fun playthrough. We're here to have a good time. But Sly in the gang! Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll be shocked, I'm sure, to know that nobody is paying us to play Sly 2. Right. Tragically. So hey, if I can get that Red Bull sponsorship. Yeah, we're... <laughs> Oh, it feels really hot on Sly 2 sponsorships right now. Oh yeah, they are looking. Mm -hmm. They are canvassing. Mm -hmm. For Sly 2 streamers. Mm -hmm. hey. <laughs> hey. Hey, this is um, sort of a wild poll to start out with, but because you said bombs to the city, um, it did remind me. Uh, did any Is anybody here familiar with the Silverwing? series of uh young adult um novels that they also made an animated tv show i think for in the early 2000s that lasted one season um i think you that was that. it's possible i'm sure i've heard anyway. of passing before but i do not know <laughs> anyway it was, it was it was like i mean it's like you know it's like any like sort of uh not quite fantasy, but fantasy-esque uh, sort of animal uh, animal society book series. Um, this yep, one was you have chances. Yeah, bats. yeah, yeah. This is the but bats one. Um, you read the cats. You read the rats. The now it's time one. for the bats. Huh? Um, anyway, I only <laughs> thought about that because uh, that there is a plot in I think the third book. Spouts where Yay. evil scientists um, strap bombs to bats and then just sort of force. send them into the city to, I guess, randomly blows for. things up. Um, <laughs> and yeah, and that's what it made me think of <laughs> in terms of like how you would just send bombs to a city. Like, well, <laughs> I guess there's to these one way you could do that. that. You could do bats or you could do bomber planes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> anyway, the bat had to stop this from happening. I think he succeeded and he might have gone to bat hell and then escaped a la the one Greek guy. Yeah, I know exactly who you're talking about. You know, he had a girlfriend and, and he was dead, and so he had to go get her, but he wasn't allowed to look at her, but he did anyway, because that's how these things go, and so she's like, no, I have to go back to hell now, and he's like, damn. Um, okay. I have it's two like, things I want to get through real quick. Hey, yeah. Lore, you've been a fan since pretty much the launch of this game, at least, so that's really cool. That's you're, awesome. you're in good company here. That's amazing. And Pat, a... explain. <laughs> There was a real, it oh, was yeah, a okay. real World War II experiment. Yes, it was. It was based this, off of but... a real thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, they did a lot of wild shit. And, um, 
But yeah, one one way they tried to get close into an area was to strap them. I mean, terrifying. Anyway, luckily a little bat stopped that from happening, and then they made a book about it, and then they made a short the children's <laughs> television show. I know, isn't that amazing? Yeah, that's uh, pretty great, anyway. actually. Anyway, thanks everybody for stopping by my um, animal book corner. Welcome to Silverwing uh, Chat, the only Twitch okay. channel that talks about Silverwing and its short-lived TV appearance. Mm -hmm. I can almost um, guarantee you that's true. <laughs> only almost, though. O only almost, because the internet is full of things. No matter how centralized things get, we will yeah. have, have our weird fandoms and our obscure mm -hmm. fandoms just, like, popping their, their heads randomly. Shout out mm -hmm. to the Bubsy fandom. Shout out to the Bubsy's fandom. They Shout are out still to doing one. good. Yeah. That's, Shout out that's to not a joke. person on, uh, on Twitter who um, searches the Quest 64 tag daily, I do believe. Oh, um, hell yeah. Oh, actually. that's super important. It's so important. I also uh, remember this mission. This is where we stopped last time because we mm. realized that. Oh, yeah. These shit wolves. Yeah. Yeah. We have to shoot a bunch of dogs. Sorry to dogs. Oh, oh, and now the extra detail. Buck the dude who came up with the idea. I mean, oh well, yeah. yeah. Uh, Wikipedia says he chose bats because they were the lowest form of animal life. Yeah, that sounds right for and World War II era. Um, the sort of general understanding of animals. Just very mean. Just very like, my mm. God. That's really satisfying to get multiple cops the same explosion. Yeah. Even if it doesn't mm -hmm. kill them. I, I hate to say it, it's fun to blow up these dogs. It is. I do not say this about blowing up most things. Oh. It's certainly not most dogs. I would I would say even a few dogs is a little too, few too many for me. Mm, that's true. My first that's, that's true. I work good if I can. <laughs> oh, um, here's a question I had that I was thinking about today, and I might have already talked about, and I just don't remember. Um, but have we, uh, thought about, um, a serial mascot fighting game before? Not a serial mascot game. We have okay. talked about a failed video game mascot Smash game. Oh, yeah, that's great. Okay, so who's the boss? I feel like we have to start there. Mm, yeah. Who's the boss? That's my favorite sitcom from the 90s or whatever, 80s. From wherever, know. whenever they made. Whenever who's the bosses are in the world. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Um. Anyway, uh, I was thinking about it today because I saw um, a tweet talking about Captain Crunch's ability to crunch ties and his power to hang out with Shaq, and that's what got me thinking. That is a good power. I mean, mm -hmm. it also gives us an opportunity to just have Shaq as the final boss. Oh, see? That is a good idea. He has a big hunger. Like He's a big boy. That's true. I feel like Shaq could be such a fun playable character, though. Yeah, I feel like you know? um, Edie's box is a character in another film. Like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of like sure. Pokemon Trainer, you pop out a different athlete. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah! That's I have good. an idea about this stage. Mm -hmm. Would you be interested in hearing it? Anything to fill space while I'm doing this bullshit. <laughs> well, they only come out of two gates in this particular stage, so I wonder how helpful it would be to get up close, closer, like about the middle point, and then just kind of like try and get a groove for those two doors and pop them and just run in every once you hit the cap. Yeah, the problem they're only I'm about having six. here is that like there's very specific hmm. windows of the stuff. Windows. And, uh... Like, I'm hitting invincibility frames trying to knock some. Hmm, okay. Oh. So it's a bit of a junky. 
Yeah. A jump yeah. There, there's a lot of different problems at play here. Yeah, okay. So, uh, move back to Serial Mascot Smash? Yes. <laughs> we'll call it Crunch. Super Crunch, bro. Oh, Super yes. Crunch. Well, we can't um, call them Oh, I brothers. thought he was dead. That's another <laughs> Uh, I mean, well, okay. How many uh, people in Smash are related? Well, I mean, the Foundation Brothers, you know. Oh, uh, by the way, stars? uh, Robin, can you double check to make sure the stream is visible? Twitch, uh, it was to just me. Uh, it might just be you. It's looking okay, okay here. Okay, great. If it's if it's just me, that's fine. I just want to make sure. <laughs> that's fair. Um, anyway, um, yeah, we can't call them brothers. Um. Okay, we got the information from the chat. Cool. Um, Thank you. Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, they're brothers because of Mario. Um, without Mario, there's no brothers. Yeah, I, I suppose that's fair. No, so what are some good alternatives? Because, uh, uh, like, All-Stars kind of... I mean, we're doing Saturday morning and PlayStation... It's there. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. We'll workshop it. Yeah, because all I can think of right now is the Crunch Boys. Which, yeah. we're, we're meaning boys in a very gender neutral term, <laughs> but we need to iterate upon it and find something a little mm. better. But... I mean, to be fair, I'm pretty sure. 98% of serial uh, mascots are boys. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure like... the <laughs> the women representation in serial um, mascots, uh, how strong it is. Um, you know what? There's an opportunity there for some player two ideas. That's true. Um, uh, They're waking each other up, hitting each other. Yeah, that is... Very rude. Oh, um, oh, whoa, that was a quick snapback. I guess because they were exploded and not put to sleep first. Okay. What abilities does the Trix Rabbit have? Not much. I know, well, that's what the problem is. I can smell things. I, I, I mean, so can Toucan Sam. So can, so um, can I. Yeah. I, I feel like his thing is that he's just got anxiety, right? So, obviously that means he's basically Sonic from Smash in that he is very fast, but also kind of mildly uncontrolled. Oh, yeah, yeah, he is kind of a Sonic build. Yeah. Um, yeah, he can do that, and maybe he has some um, fruit-based powers, a la... Um, I don't know why I think of this specifically, but like, you yeah. know, the fun I mean, shapes that appear when Ness does like PK Freeze, or, or sorry, when Lucas does PK Freeze, or Ness does PK Fire. I'm thinking of that, but like with grapes or oranges mm -hmm. or coconut smells. I also see Trix Rabbit as sort of an insecure Bugs Bunny, right? Because he also. That's true. We forget this, he also goes into disguises many times. That's true. I he, did forget that. I forgot he did that. Like he he could very well be a sibling or a close cousin of Bugs Bunny if we're going by abilities and capacity alone. He just yes. which has we must the confidence and he is not complete without the trick serial, which he doesn't know if it's any good as far as he we're doesn't. aware. He's never, he's never had it. Try. Yeah. Well, that's why I said he smells things. Like, the, the only mm. thing he's ever been allowed to do is know where it is because he can smell it. That's true. <laughs> hey, Trix Rabbit is in the uh, Hero Fandom Wiki, just so everybody knows. Very cool. Mm -hmm. uh, wait, wait. Stop oh. the fucking presses. He did, according to the Wiki, manage to eat some trick cereal on equations, including twice as the result of a box top mail-in contest in 1976 and 1980. So. Wow, that really proves oh. that 90s kids are stingy. <laughs> no! The, oh wait, yes, you're right, yeah, the 90s kids were like, no, fuck this rabbit. Oh, 
Oh, oh my god, well, Bugs Bunny did in fact help the rabbit get the cereal. Oh my god. So they have met. Ooh, wait. Lark, there is a feature you're missing. Whoa. We all missed it. What? There is a crusher in the center. It, there are switches that activate a crusher. There are? All three of them what? crush. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. We got a crush. I'm sure they talked about it and I just completely missed it. But like. Oh, yeah. Circle activates the traps. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Well, okay. This is very different. This is a whole different mission now. This is a whole different wolf game. Holy oh, I see. We were cooped we up, but we are no longer. The Cooper gang is breaking out and breaking faces, and also every other bone. Mm -hmm. Just demolishing. Oh my god. This. <laughs> yeah. Thing is everything. <laughs> this is great, because, like, okay, so here's the thing. While Lark and I are huge fans of Sly Cooper, we haven't played them actively since, I think, before, for you, before Sly 4 came out. And for me, like, pretty much the week of Sly 4. I played the hell out of that game, yeah, and but, I haven't gone back to Sly in a while. But I have a more relevant excuse than that. Right out of bad it's that mm -hmm. they're no telling me everything that's going on here, and tank. I can't pay attention to a word of it because this is a stream <laughs> and y'all are talking. Yeah, that's normal. <laughs> like, not a matter of blame, it's just like how that works. I can't pay attention to two things at once. Yeah, no, same. Or we're okay. either friends, or I'm paying attention to this video game. Okay, so I'll, I'll yeah. do the thing that I have been like quietly doing in my head, where I'll actually like keep an eye on the objectives as we go, and just be your accountability buddy. Sure. Because uh -oh. either there are no subtitles, or the subtitles are there, but y'all, like, or even I, just, like, have our best ideas when they're actually telling us what we're supposed to be doing. <laughs> like yeah, the no. Serial Smash co uh, game. Yeah. <laughs> but so as we were saying. This is why I don't um, draw and stream at me anymore, is because my brain becomes so small when I stream. Right. And it takes out all of the drawing. It's a... Uh, it is a skill. I honestly don't yeah. know how I've managed it for as long as I yeah. have. Yeah, yeah, no, it's extremely impressive. Genuinely. I, and, I, yeah. and I've done it for Bloodborne, so yeah. like it, it's it's, it, and I'm not going to say like, oh yeah, because I work real hard. I, I just do it a lot. Mm -hmm. You just learn how to have the right stream of consciousness, and then you go. But mm -hmm. even for me in this setup with the group. It is that much harder because, oh, now I have to play off of both of you. Yeah, and here it's either, like, or just either I listen funny. to y'all and engage and am actually being a friend, <laughs> or I'm trying to read this stuff and failing and I'm not funny. Like, I don't really have a choice. Well, I can either be good at the game or be a streamer. Mm hmm I mean, yeah. for a lot of people who stream, that's kind of the choice. Um, yeah. So that makes sense. Yeah. Um, yeah. Ooh. Um, this is basically Orcs Must Die now. Um, yeah. Hey, you yeah. all want to learn more about the Trix Rabbit? I would yeah. love more information about the Trix Rabbit while Lark uh, figures this out and gets a good mojo going. <laughs> so Bugs Bunny's um, Bugs Bunny is also of course listed on the Hero Fan Wiki. Of course, um, he is a hero, and, as, uh, according to Space Jam and Saturday Morning Cartoon All Stars. Yes, yes, yeah. I still find it debatable. Uh, it's much more of a neutral chaos figure, in my opinion. Yeah. Hi, AJ. Um, hello, welcome. Hello, hello. Oh. what's up? <laughs> We're crushing wolves. Crushing wolves while discussing Trix Rabbit lore. Yeah, I have the pen. Uh, did you guys know that the Trix Rabbit is on the Hero Fandom Wiki? Um, uh, it's great. There are facts about him in here. Um, so Bugs Bunny, of course, is also on here, and he has a long, impressive list of powers and skills. 
such as uh, his high intelligence, his tracking skills, his famous weaponry skills, and hand-to-hand -hand combat. Uh, oh, yes, of course. <laughs> That's what I know. His immortality. His immortality. Um, and his high-tier team force. Um, Trix Rabbit's abilities are listed as one, and it is just disguising. Yeah. He has, there's no information on his occupation, and um, his enemy is listed as kids. <laughs> I mean, that is... So that's great. That is accurate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. His enemy is... I mean, technically, his enemy would be Gamera, who is who's friend to children everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, that is true. Mm -hmm. um, oh, uh, so we were uh, talking about serial mascots, and then I looked up the Trix Rabbit, and then I saw that he was. Then there, when I looked up the Trix Rabbit, I saw that he was on the Hero Phantom Wiki, and I was like, "Oh fuck, I have to learn about the Trix Rabbit from yeah. the Hero Phantom Wiki." Um, Do you know what they have to say? Yes, he's succeeded a grand total of three times to be Trick Serial. Um, the uh, wiki's trivia for him um, tells me uh, that uh, he's regarded as the most sympathetic serial mascot to many people, um, most likely due to his constant deprivation of his own cereal. Um, <laughs> and it is unknown why he can't have the Trick Serial. Um, although the wiki editor safe. suspects it's either to teach kids about stealing or possibly because in real life rabbits can't have sugar or fruit, which is what the cereal is portrayed in this movie. So that's some good wow. insight from the hero fan of which. So, so maybe we like we potentially have a backwards based on the lore. The Trix mm. Rabbit isn't it isn't that the kids are being mean and adhering to a tradition that they are unquestioning. They are doing it for his health, and he is so obsessed with his white whale. Oh, he's Captain Ahab! Oh, yeah. you just had to go there. <laughs> well, now he makes sense. Everything course, about yeah. the Trix Rabbit works now. Um... <laughs> yeah, AJ, this is this is literally because of the the tweet that you <laughs> shared about Captain Crunch's crunchitization abilities. What is crunchitization um, exactly? Uh, it alters reality. I know that much. Let me ask the uh, Hero Fandom Wiki really quick to see if they can tell me about Captain Crunch. Well, they are the experts. They, they are, are the, the only experts. people I would trust on the subject outside of serial mm -hmm. historians. They do have his full name, so I do trust them. Uh, yeah. His full name, uh, does everybody know Captain Crunch's full name? It is Captain Horatio Magellan Crunch. Or Magellan. Magellan? Yeah. 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 Um, I, I forgot about the Horatio, but I remember the Magellan. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's good. Yeah, it is exactly like keeping a plate of garlic chicken away from your cat. Trick Rabbit wants it so much. He's just like Shepard. Mm-hmm. Give me the blood, Miriam. <laughs> he needs it. Okay. It's not ready yet. It's still resetting. Oh god, some of that is really satisfying. Yeah, it's a little bit brutal. Oh, oh wait! It's <laughs> ah! <laughs> you quite literally played yourself, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're making good progress, though. Yeah. This is going great. Yeah this is... yeah, this is one of those things where, like, I'm sure there's a way to do it that's, like, it's perfect, it's not ready yet. but right. that's not going to happen today, because this, this is one of those things that, like, you could be really careful with it, but it would take you time. Okay, so while you're working on that, what? Okay, we still. Sorry, I got, still out I, on, uh, Captain Crunch got time. me into a rabbit hole about uh, hacking culture. Um, I've learned nothing about crunch crunchitization, unfortunately. Um, but I have learned that um, a uh, 
an electronics technician who went by the moniker of Captain Crunch, um, found a way uh, to essentially um, uh, recreate a specific dial tone. This is in the 70s. Uh, recreate a specific dial tone that would allow him to place a long distance phone call for free to anywhere in the world. Oh. Um, yeah, I and think that when... plot line was used for the movie Hackers. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, uh, so, um, after, uh, hilariously and tragically, after being featured in uh, a magazine for this, um, he was arrested for it. So, uh, so this is why you don't pay people an exposure. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's true. Mm hmm. <laughs> Uh, there is also some apparent product litigation relating to the crunch cereal uh, from someone who believed that they were eating real fruit because the cereal listed crunch berries on the box. So, oh, oh misinformation is one of the superpowers. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well-meaning misinformation. The ability to spread lies. <laughs> I mean, he technically is a member of the U.S. government. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he has the capacity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, if they made us like Cooper Cereal, what would the flavors be? Is um, what he's asking. And I think that's a good question, because I also was thinking about how... Um, and I know this is really rude to say Cooper, um, and I am sorry. He does have just a little bit, I think, of cereal mascot flavor to him. I think if Cookie Crisp were chip. ever to make a hot I... mascot, they would just wind up recreating Sly Cooper. Mm -hmm. That's my verdict. Another chamber in my mojo collector is full. Yeah. Moving like, remember Hot Crap. Hamburglar? Yeah, he Not, was I don't... for a second, wasn't he? That for some that... reason, they did a live action Hamburglar commercial series. Where Hamburglar was oh, hot. I, okay. And he had some Sly Cooper vibes. So I have to imagine that serial mascots who are professional thieves, anytime a, like a serial company is like, we got to make them hot. Uh, so the moms have something to look at or whatever thing CEOs and execs say, mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. would just make mm -hmm. Sly Cooper. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, I think they're definitely Oh, mm -hmm. and B, I think, is touching on the point that this would very much be like oh. a Count Chocula situation Ooh. where the whole team gets their own cereal. That was my yeah. thought as well. Um, uh, that's much more... I was thinking just little marshmallows of everybody. Uh, this is much more lucrative, what you've come up with. I think uh, there's definitely a potential for mm -hmm. three individual flavors. But mm -hmm. like, Amelito would get the chocolate flavor. Yeah. Yeah. And then Bentley would have chocolate to... and caramel. Yeah, yeah. Obviously. Then Bentley would have mm -hmm. to have some like weird lemon lime situation. Gooseberries. Mm -hmm. Gooseberries. Color, flavor, vibe, boom. <laughs> <laughs> and I think Murray has to be something a little bit unusual, like they got a... like a strawberry or. Yeah, like, I, I think, uh... Oh, this is a fun room. What, what? This is a fun room. I mean, like, you could... There's dragon fruit, there's passion fruit, there's... No, I'm just trying to think of what the flavor is that's not blueberry. He would be the Frankenberry. Yeah. Yes, thank you. I was also trying to think of that, but I was not trying to think very really hard. Anyway, I've learned nothing about crunchization, I'm sad to say. Um, uh, they I mean, have no information on Captain Crunch's abilities, despite their, like, uh, being readily, readily oh. evident. Um, he does carry a sword, so he is, um, he has a weapon. Which right, is like, Captain weapon. Crunch has killed a man. Yeah. He's, he's a navy, navy captain. He, he was the captain of the Oberdin. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, there is that. But, 
I thought the Lucky Charms guy would be like extremely easy. I mean, that's just like that's there's your caster, right? Yeah, like, he's all about evasion. Is it? Yeah, evasion and casting little little spells. Um, based yeah, off he, of he's he's your part. long distance striker. Mm -hmm. He's how I would play Sackboy in the PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale game, which is to say, like an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, def like definitely the actual trickster, which is funny considering the Trick Rabbit is not the trickster. He is just. They really are sort of like a an opposite sides of the same coin. One is constantly pursued by children who want his magical cereal, the other constantly in pursuit of children trying to protect him from his magical cereal. Right. Yeah, because as we've established, we're talking yeah. about a Moby Dick situation with the tricks around. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. Hmm. What do we do about variants? Because Cookie Crisp, as, as we've, like, Ooh. since we're on the subject, has had multiple mascots. Oh, it has? Oh, shit. I only Completely remember Completely distinct, uh, dog-ish creatures. Oh, boy. That does get complicated. Okay. I gotta look at these dogs. Oh, God. Um, AJ, AJ also brings up a point, like, where are we mm -hmm. on the tricks today? Fruit shapes or orbs? Uh, oh, shapes, fruit for shapes. Me, that's what I yeah. remember. And that's it's, how it needs to be. I mean, for me, it's not even, like, a thing of memory. It's, it's just, like, it's just if you have... If you have a fun shape, you make it a fun shape. Everything is an orb in a cereal. I yeah. love orbs, but come on. Like crunch berries are orbs. Like we're not crunch berries. We're tricks. Exactly. Motherfucker. It's and true. like I, and I do think that this is one of the few times. Like I am not the kind of millennial who's like, I think this was better. It's like I don't believe that about most things. <laughs> I think late '90s internet was better, and that's kind of my limit. But also tricks when it had fruit shapes like that that's that's it like we had it right seen that generation twitch multiple times now they just keep going back and forth which whatever they do or, uh -huh. or whichever one is going to be considered fresh at the time because <laughs> mm -hmm. um, i remembered the that was too much, right? yeah. that was good. Oh my um, god, B, Taylor, you're so smart. Sorry. Oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> B. <laughs> but yeah, I remember the time um, in the early, early, early 90s before they changed it to fruit shapes. I remember it was mm -hmm. a big deal that they were fruit shapes. Yeah. Um, yeah. So when they changed it back, I was like, oh yeah, they're changing it back. And everyone else around me in my same generation. Just <laughs> that kind of memory formation is compiled, and they were like, what yeah. was going on? I just <laughs> think the fruit shapes were better. They it's like, I don't better. care what they did before, and, I don't care what they did after. And I have a weird nostalgia <laughs> from when I was literally two years old for just the regular spheres, because it's supposed to be a binary between tricks and kicks. Yeah, because, like, you give one I cereal see, like, I it see. takes the cereal that most love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kix is kids. the cool one. Yeah, Trix is the fun one. Kix is just not enough for picky palettes. Yeah, so like, I get that. Yeah, yeah. Um, See, I missed that, um, that sort of, uh, sort of Gengar Clefable situation. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I learned a couple of things about Cookie Crisp. Oh dear. Um, so yeah, uh, Robin is, is of course, uh, correct. Before Chip the Wolf, we had Chip the Dog. Uh, That's what I like Chip the right. Dog. Uh, we had Cookie Crook and Cookie Pop. Um, Ooh, I do remember that. Yeah, I, like, I don't know. I feel like I have seen these guys before, but... Yeah, they got the Beagle Boys vibe. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, however... My favorite, the guy I think we should bring back uh, for the game, specifically, my man, Cookie Jarvis. Cookie. He's Jar oh yes. He's a wizard oh, yes. with a cookie hat. Um, and it's really it for this room. Yeah. Okay. Look I need out. to make sure people get eyeballs on this goofy, goofy. So we're going to.
Mm -hmm. Stick this Get in the corner. Thank you, rat polygons. Oh yeah, I changed. <laughs> yeah, and then, and then, and then I changed it for like just like a. And then Twitch was like, "Cool, you can do this again in a month." And I was like, "Oh, okay, I guess I'm just this now." <laughs> <laughs> this is who I am now. Yeah, let's go. So, so anyway, um, I don't know. I mean, it just is a way to add another caster to the roster. I don't know what Cookie Jarvis's abilities would be. I would like something where maybe he could summon the, this this uh, coven of Cookie criminals. Um, yes, that they but, were all his limbs. Mm -hmm, sort of a like duck hunt dog situation. Like your one, your your two guys are technically like five guys or whatever. Um, but um, I mean, technically, you the player are the guy, and then you're just and then duck hunt is like you're the third guy. And Duck Hunt is your friend. Anyway, mm -hmm. so yeah, Smash is cool. Smash, um, Smash is has a lot of potential for this exact kind of shenanigans. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I do. This is um. Uh, I mean, it's related, but it just uh, I did want to say shout out to uh, Tom and Jerry in the um the cartoon fighting game. Uh, that came out that uh, the name of it I can't remember but Spongebob is in it and Steven Universe yeah um, Nickelodeon you, uh, Nickelodeon All-Stars Battle Royale um, Punch Fight Battle Supreme Nickelodeon Edition yeah Nickelodeon Brothers fight to the ultimate um uh the premise of uh, those two is that they are just fighting each other and all of their attacks against each other or just, everybody else is just caught in the crossfire right is so cute and so funny um, and makes for such such great little character animations um, and I was just really impressed and I want more fighting games to do uh, funny little shit like that I mean they probably all do right. I don't know a whole lot about fighting games but I like it when they do that I mean, this was pretty fun. I did legitimately enjoy it. I didn't play it. I only watched somebody play Tom and Jerry for a little bit. Yeah, like, I, I was on it for a few weeks, and I was like, there were a lot of ways in which I thought it was better than Smash. Just mm -hmm. not in ways that I felt justified doing, like, dailies and weeklies and stuff. And yeah, having battle that. passes and all of that, like that, that was, that was, that's mm. a good way to kill my interest in game. Like, incentives to play more yeah. actually have the opposite effect on me. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Sorry, I forgot about Snap, Crackle, and Pop. There's your Ice Climbers. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah. And, um, Tony the Tiger is just in Cinnabar. Yeah, like, that's your grappling. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's so many people who would like to be grappled by Tony the Tiger. Oh, don't I know it. Yeah. There are people who are just on the Tony the Tiger Twitter just ready. They're ready to show Tony. their whole furry ass. Mm -hmm. Like a cat who just found somebody they like. Mm hmm. Just like Tony. He was a cat. <laughs> Oh god, what are some other good ones? Because, like, we have talked briefly about Count Chocula and the game, and I do oh, feel shit. like they deserve yes. to Definite, like, be their holiday own DLC kind of yeah. thing. Um, you get, yeah, you get a chocolate, so you get a Count Chocula pack. Um, that includes. Uh, I almost feel like Count Chocula and Frankenberry and Blueberry should be. Kind of like um, the trifecta of characters from the Chrono series, where oh. you know, like Flea and them. Oh, Flea slash Nazi. Yeah. Megas's underlings uh, and Chrono Trigger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, um, I feel oh. like maybe they should this kind of group that you can only get one at a time, or go yeah. like the trio of mid bosses. Oh God, they're the Amazon trio. That that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, they're, you're, they're the Amazon trio. We're, we went from Chrono Trigger to Sailor Moon yes. in 
less than half a thought. Well, <laughs> it's the same. I mean, principle. yeah, it is. Yeah. I, I'm just impressed at the franchise jumping. Watch um, out. Well, the people have their ideas of the kinds of groups. Uh, that's true. Um, Hero Wiki has much more to say about Tony the Tiger. I'm really excited to. Have we discussed Buzz the Bee? Buzz the oh, Bee Buzz is kind the of the Mickey Mouse. He's so Mouse Mickey God. Mouse. Yeah. Like, I'm sure he's... at one time he was interesting. He's not. Like, he's a bee. That's that's his personality. Yeah, Two no, for real. Mm -hmm. Ooh, wait. There's there's our boss material. Remember how in Epic Mickey they were like, hey, we got the rights to Oswald, and we decided to make him, like, a, an interesting little villain about a character who was forgotten. That'll what be. if Buzz the Bee was tired of being nice and I'm wanted to get to go a go shit at him. And then he could like have a spelling bee level kind of like the uh, grungy's yeah. Yes. That's good. Okay. Oh, his his ultimate or final smash is just a very sudden quiz show about health. <laughs> about heart health. Yeah. I should be able mm -hmm. to blow the clockwork um, that mind Do you this all want to know a little bit about uh Tony the Tiger? Unfortunately, <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh his, his full name is listed as Anthony the Tiger. Um, his occupation is sports athlete and a serial mascot. Um, serial. Hang on, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna just copy paste this because I really, really love the way this is typed. Uh huh. Let's see here. Uh. His family includes uh, Papa Tony, his father, Mama Tony, his mother, Mrs. Tony, his wife, Tony Jr., his son, and Antoinette, his daughter. Um, and his friends and allies are listed as mankind as a whole, and enemies none. <laughs> Of course. Yeah, mm -hmm. I have some so. voice actor lore for you for that. Ooh, what's that? The original voice actor of Tony the Tiger did two oh, slide, wonderful roles that I'm sure we'll all appreciate. You'll need to buy a One, for the heist. Big Tex. Okay, let's move out. From the Texas State Fair. The giant oh, Texan at the Texas State Fair. Yes. Who did wow. burn down and then came back to life a year later. That's so Ish. beautiful. He also sang You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch. <gasps> yeah. That's yeah. so good. Yeah. <laughs> I also just learned he voiced the vacuum cleaner in the Brave Little Toaster movie. Oh. Oh, hey, Ryan, can we watch Brave Little Toaster sometime soon? Um, fuck yeah, we can. Please, that movie's please. wild. <laughs> yeah, let's... Let it, like... Is... For, for those of you who don't know, we have a special little game where we watch quality cartoons. We watch and really only good cartoons. <laughs> only very good cartoons, only like season two good. of Donkey Kong Country. Mm -hmm. um, which is fantastic, by the way. And, uh... We, we gotta oh, watch yeah, Brave Little so Toaster. Good. It is imperative. Mm -hmm. Probably been a good decade since I've seen it again. But, man, the Babby's first movies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same. Acting up oh, yeah. chat a little bit here, so. They should make a Scooby Doo game where Fred gets to do, a sort of, uh, do this sort of thing. Um, Two Can Sam and his nephews. They trade yeah. a sportscaster for Oswald. That's like. Yes. Fantastic. One of my favorite. Oh. <laughs> and then AJ dropped Pop and Fresh lore nuggets about I the extended love family. The Pop and Fresh lore. Let me see if Pop and Fresh is on the Heroes Wiki. Um, Snap, Crackle, and Pop were not on the Heroes Wiki. I was really sad. So I guess they're not heroes. Sorry. <laughs> Real quick. Mm -hmm. Always mention this. We're in the next to last stage. Oh my god. Right. Oh hell yeah. yeah this is phase two. <laughs> He's listed. 
Okay, Papa Fresh is categorized under the Heroes Wiki as a possessed object, so that's really good. <laughs> Oh, um, this is a sentient pile of dough. You'll have to steal a few keys here and there to get access mm -hmm. to the more secure areas of the castle. He, uh, ooh, Pillsbury is an ant. Is okay. Sorry, I I, I went too fast. <laughs> uh, Pillsbury is anthropomorphic character who was made of pasta for cakes. He is a very comedic character when a human finger pokes his belly. Pillsbury laughs when he was poked by a human finger in the commercials of 60s to 2000s. Doughboy first state in 1960s. <laughs> when he encourages people to create the better recipes of Pillsbury pastas like cakes, fresh pastas, muffins, pie, pancakes, etc. He's better known for his dancings and his kisses in the screen. Sorry. I mean, true. Mm, I'm having trouble with the, word, the usage of the word pastas here. Um, but that may be a personal this a, issue. This is officially the best article I think I've ever read. <laughs> uh, it's really good. It's really good. In the Christmas commercial, he reads a book to sleep a boy and receives the visit from Santa Claus. Pillsbury makes the cookies for <laughs> Santa. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's sleep a boy who pokes his belly, then Santa pokes his finger on his mouth to tell T Pillsbury to keep his voice down as the boy sleeps. Then Santa puts a present for Pillsbury under the Christmas tree and the Pillsbury toys at the side of the boy under the Christmas tree. <laughs> Sorry, that was one sentence. It was, it's a paragraph long. I love wikis. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love wikis so much. Fan um, wikis oh, can die of fire. Fan wikis are great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Sorry, I'm just reading the entirety of this article. It's just so good. Um, no, no, keep Pils it going. Pillsbury makes his first appearance in 1965 commercial when he encourages human people to bake the recipes to please customers. In Wikipedia, an image of Pillsbury appears when the description shows that a human finger pokes his belly. In 2016 and the years later, he returns in the commercial, he only laughs, but he does not talk or say a word for the rest of the commercials. Pillsbury likes to dance in some of the commercials for a couple of occasions. Pillsbury's famous laugh is hoo hoo hoo. That's the end of the article on uh, Pop and Fresh. AKA Pillsbury, AKA Dogrelay. Smooth work! Now, nope. that's great. That is... I have, I want... oh, no, that's right. fantastic. I'm, I'm adding this to my bookmarks. No, no, this, this is great. The, the article on the Pillsbury Dogrelay. Brings me a lot of really incredible joy. Uh, all right. Well, it didn't teach us anything about the extended family, um, so we might have to ask me for help on that one. Me, hey, you're the uh, expert. You are the expert on Pop and Fresh and his and his ill. Oh no, I didn't know the Brave Little Toaster novella was out of print. It's sad. We can God, make I it bet happen. That, I bet that's great. Let's yeah. buy the rights to Brave Little yeah. Toaster and get it back in print. Yes. Yeah, that'll be fine. I mean, either way you throw it, I, I would believe it, but I'm choosing to believe <laughs> there's no irony in that. <laughs> or sarcasm. I think we could do it. <laughs> New charity fund drive. Get us <laughs> the money to buy the rice to Brave Little Toaster. So we can set we can we can hire Discotech Media to uh, just reprint that stuff. That is a perfect use of our time. It's preservation. Exactly. <laughs> and everyone should be scarred by Brave Little Toaster. He That's would true. Be doing something for the planet just as important <laughs> as the son of mm -hmm. a Nike heir who keeps Leica Studios open. Right. Mm hmm. God bless him. Mm. Oh, oh, wow. I Let's really don't think I can find anything better than the Pop and Fresh Wiki article. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Very <laughs> really. <good. laughs> I'm I'm just really, really. The wire towers at the far end 
the room. I learned so much about a human really thinker. Does it in here, huh, pal? <laughs> it, it's... You always gotta be careful what you learn about a human finger. That's true. You can learn a lot. I think Marnie locked herself behind the gate real quick. Oh no. Let me check to see if Poppin' Fresh's Uncle Rolly's on the open key. <laughs> I am learning oh, the guards. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it took a very long time. <laughs> To beat up the table that I ate under. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Um, I'm sad to say that Uncle Rolly is not listed under the Heroes Wiki. We gotta find Uncle Rolly. We gotta oh. find him. Oh my god. Sorry, I, I um, uh, the Heroes Wiki keeps advertising to me the article for Knuckles the Echidna, um, so I did open it up just to take a peek on how Knuckles is doing. Um, and his powers and skills uh, has a scroll bar, because there are so many of him. Also his occupations and hobbies. Um, so that's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi, Marnie. Hi, Is Marley. it time to be the star of the show? Absolutely. Another set of guards are up in your binocucon. Rob them of their keys to get at the boys' modulator. Cool. Wow, yeah, two Uncle can Sam. Kind of looks like the Monopoly Man. Yes, Uncle Rolly rules. Like, Monopoly Man, before he hit it rich. Mm-hmm. He's got a cute little car. He's got a cute little hat. He's got a little yeah. scarf. And he's got a funny little mustache. He drives around. He drives around town. Oh, that's very good. I mean, yeah. I, I, I love lo fi mascots like that. I mm -hmm. love me a good finger puppet mascot. Oh, huge. I, I would be fine if we swapped out a lot of CGI for just Punch and Judy style dolls. Hell yes. Oh god, yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. I'm still not over the fact that uh, Yoda in The Last Jedi was a practical puppet. Yeah, I really agree with that. Yeah. Um, sad to say, Toucan Sam was a very small article on the years with the uh, no, one I'm paragraph uh, does not list any of his abilities. Uh, does not list his nephews either. Um, oh, that's unfortunate. I know. I, think they, I know. Don't they have like awful names? Oh no. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they have something. Like, I, I think their names are like wrecked ripoffs of Huey. Oh, of course. God. Yeah. There's no way it isn't because that's that's. Mm -hmm. How many twists on the formula of triplets can you have? Right. Yeah. That's right. Papa Fresh has a member large family. Um. Mm -hmm. And I am going to find an image that shows the whole gang, the whole monster yes, crew. You can't say it was originally voiced by Mel Blay. I don't doubt. I mean, he... I mean, yeah. There well, that's amazing. One, you know? yeah. yeah, that's true. Like, what else is Mel Blanc going to do? I mean, everything. Yeah, that's... There is the Pillsbury family. The Pillsbury Doe nuclear family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Such a beautiful family. So beautiful. I would, I would so gladly beautiful. take this over a precious memories collection any day. I feel mm -hmm. safe around these guys. Yeah. <laughs> I, 
I mean, there's a lot of things I would prefer over a Precious Memories collection, because, uh... <laughs> Jesus. Uh, if you like, I'm good on you, yep. but I doubt you're watching this. But, yep, yep, uh, Mark, <laughs> you were right. Um, sorry. Uh, since 1994, Toucan Sam has been joined on screen by his three nephews, Huey, Susie, and Louis spelled like Louis. Um, but they are never referred to by name. Gee, I wonder why. Yeah, right? <laughs> um, and apparently Jim Cummings voices, voices these nephews sometimes. Uh, nephews? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, there's like two reasons for Disney to be involved there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, that's, that's so funny. That is... Uh, you know, <laughs> I think we're going to have to do a lot of the heavy lifting on this Crunch Brothers mascot it's fighter. It's true. It's true. I, I think, I, I, I gotta say, I think these serial mascot designers um, aren't giving us a lot to work with. I know. It's a real shame uh, that they didn't I consider... Like these <laughs> Yeah, and not for to fill out fill out a fighting game master. I okay. mean, clearly everybody needs to step up their game. Like, mm -hmm. if everyone who made a mascot for their commercials or their games or whatever just thought about the esports meta, mm -hmm. it would be a Even lot a better. Bit. Off. Mm -hmm. If you can't, if you come up with a mascot character and you can't think of four specials that they can pull off, given the tilt of the analog stick, then I don't know what to do with you. Right. That's yeah. Yeah. Come yeah. on. This is yeah. what art's all about. <laughs> and the yeah, that is. We we made mention of that because why? I'm starting to think if we're already doing the heavy lifting here on like making these characters fun and developed and fleshed out. Mm -hmm. Player 2 fem alternates. Yeah. No question. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I just feel like there's a lot we can do there. Yeah. Just, not even Player 2. It's like, you, you pick your gender, and that's what you kind of default to. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, like, of the obviously two that would have to be available because video game development is hard and we're already doubling our workload. Um, and some characters wouldn't have an alternate because they are surely non binary. Because, like, mm -hmm. Trix Rabbit doesn't have a gender, I don't care. And neither does Cookie Dog, really. Yeah, yeah that's true. It would actually be better if Cookie Dog didn't have a gender. Mm -hmm. I would love Cookie Dog more we than I already do, and I love Cookie Dog. Around the voice modulator. Cookie Dog. This could be tricky. B, I, I like her. Really yeah. Uh -huh. I like Stinamummy a lot. That's really... that's smart. Wasn't there a mummy, though? Maybe you could destroy uh, the uh, oh, by gotta, a We gotta boy. check, right? I will... There is there a is the yummy mummy. Yummy, yummy mummy. mummy. Yes. Oh, uh, but of course. But of course. But of course, it's a dude. And, and of course, the first thing that I load up when somebody shows me that is like the Netflix series, <laughs> <laughs> which is just hot pregnant moms, I guess. Uh, oh. Mm. Oh, okay. Not, okay. Not, that's a different. That's different. That's a different thing. That's a different thing. Oh, yeah, there was a yummy werewolf mummy one. Cereal. No, I got yummy mummy now. Yeah. Um, I feel what? like fruity yummy mummy. Like there being a thing that says like fruity yummy mummy is back. I'm just like. Mm -hmm. We already know some serial mascots are queer, but I think <laughs> Fruity Yummy Mummy would be a great time just to just do a little flip. Yeah, that's true. Um, the I didn't know there was a werewolf one uh, for like Count Chocula. Yeah, I didn't know about Fruit Brute. Fruit Brute's uh, mood look is cute, I think. Ooh, let's look at Fruit Brute. 
Yeah, check out the footage. Mm -hmm. You know? He just looks like kind of a lazy, shaggy kind of guy. I like him. Yeah, you know? Like, I'm gonna load this up for us because... Fruit Fruit? Like... Looks like, he looks like he plays in a garage band. Yeah. Yeah, he, he's kind of like, what if Billy Joe Armstrong had uh, a persona? Mm -hmm. Just... That's it! You've the good looking dude. Voice modulator. Uh, that. Let's go put that in the like cute little doggy. Yeah. Give him a smooch. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's clearly ready for it. Right? Smooch, a pooch. You gotta smooch, pooch. That's true. It's required by law. <laughs> I walk into the spike. So, my favorite part about this collection of missions is that we have riled Neela up so badly that she is sending in additional military forces, and then with the use of a voice modulator and hijacking the speaker system, we are taking them for ourselves. Yay! All that rules. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, we're using all of her power against her. Uh -huh. Just making her get real stupid with anxiety and paranoia, and then just weaponizing it. Yeah. Nice. Like, the second she's no longer on our good side, we are there to fuck her up. Yeah. And also, <laughs> the second, like, he's not trying to trick anybody, what a horrible, mm. horrible person she is. Uh-huh. Yeah. It, it's like one of those times where it's like, okay, Carmelita is a cab. But also, she is actively trying to resist the bad cops. So in this instance, mm -hmm. I'll give it to Carmelita. Yeah, like, we, we are also kind of trying to... She's being hypnotized by a spider dummy movie. But... I mean, it sounds like she's having a great Friday night, but... For some people, that is exactly the thing they are looking up on Google Image Search, and I respect that. <laughs> Um, mm -hmm. But I don't think Carmelita really recognizes this sort of thing about her yet, so... <laughs> That's fair. ...seeming a little bit... Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. There is a consent yeah, issue but... going on here. Yeah. She didn't want to be hypnotized into being whatever it is that the Contessa is trying to hypnotize her into. Or whatever, whatever the fanfic say is going on, because <laughs> I'm not reading that. Um, mm -hmm. I haven't found anything. Well, of course not, because, like, all the good slide pick is going to be in that lab. Mm, yeah, or, or regrettably straight. Yeah, that's also true. Oh, Fruit Fruit is in a band. Oh, good. Oh my god, cute! What instrument does he play? I mean, apparently there is a YouTube link. Oh, oh god. shit! Oh shit, oh shit, Monster Mash! Oh, he's the drummer! Yeah. Of course, he's the- I- I- he has drummer. Yeah. I was gonna say bassist, but drummer works too. And be yeah. a love chomp thing. Mm-hmm. Chomp thing. Chomp thing! Yeah, a swamp thing send up. Yes! That's good. If you don't want to call your cereal swampy, well, I guess not. I'm sure you could make a selling point, but ultimately you are dealing with forces mm -hmm. that are potentially too gross. Mm -hmm. Now here's the big dog. Hi, Blue. It's Blue! He doesn't know what streaming is yet. Hi, buddy. But he would like to be a star. I look down to say hi to the dog. <laughs> Walk into the water. Oh, it Hi, buddy. You got a big old head that is bigger than mine. You are a small horse. You are 90 or so pounds. Oh. And you are the sweetest thing. Big Terrifying big bark. Big. Absolutely adorable creature. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just a big old grumpy man. Like, this dog did not like me at first. It took a couple of days, and now he is just, like, a best friend. Yeah. No, I guess. No! Oh, food. My words are happy. Have you tried- Have you considered arguing with them that they don't get paid enough to do their job? 
don't seem to want to listen. Uh, they, they let their guns do a lot of the talking. Okay, fair. Mm -hmm. Those kinds of conversation partners. <laughs> Vicky. Vicky. <laughs> Thanks for coming by, V. Thank you. Sleep well, V. Fairly well. <laughs> oh, fuck. Wow. Wow, the plane sucked me up. Rude. Like, I just saw him, like, pop one of those birds, and then they just went into high alert. It's like on the descent. It's just nasty. This is all also when the game just starts getting more complex overall. Like, I think compared to Sly 1, where the complexity really only takes charge in like the last two acts, mm -hmm. this one gets kind of nasty. Uh, nasty. Pretty quickly. Like, we're, we're a little past the halfway point, episode 5 of 8. Um, I think That's some thieving slide. as we get into now the very the last right the area, things shrink the down sword. considerably, but the tasks become, like, they stay pretty laborious, if I remember Ooh. correctly. And is this the game with jean Bisson, or is that three? Is this the thing? Okay, because we also got to go to Canada. That's the one after this. Episode. Oh, yeah, that's fun. Yeah, and we go we go to the unpopulated parts of Canada. We go to real Canada. Oh, like the cold parts. Well, I mean, oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's all cold, but I was gonna say. I mean, that's it's probably a little redundant, but I mean, global warming will change that. But that's um, true. <laughs> eventually, it will make fools of us all. Um, mm -hmm. But, yeah, I actually remember really liking jean Bisson's area because it's just nice and big and vacant. And there's just, like, a lot of fun little stuff to do. It's a very nice break from this two-parter that we're in. It's definitely what I'm looking forward to after this section. Or, um, mm -hmm. Like, it's still tough, but it's mm -hmm. not like this. Yeah, it's a very different kind of tough, where it's kind of the individual tasks, whereas this one is, like... I will, I will knock this game for this hub area, not because I don't like it, but because it's just very complex and overwhelming. There are just so many obstacles and hazards to watch out for, combined with a very vertical layout. Yeah, but mm -hmm. I mean, it is technically the prison complex in a game about people mm -hmm. like, it makes sense that it's as difficult. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking rough! Yeah, yeah, it's just... Fly 2 is easily the best game in the franchise by... The and, and it's not even close. Uh, but... It wouldn't be Sly if it weren't just a little bit janky and weird in ways you don't expect. Which is part of the flavor. <laughs> well, nice! Do you want to go the right way? May as well see. Boom. Yeah. Even though we all know exactly where it is, and it is us. Hmm. Here, that glue. Oh, very good. Smell it. Oh, um, it's actually it. sitting on top of a dome that's directly above us, but we can't reach it by most. Oh, okay. Well, um, it's the last clue for the area. We'll have plenty of opportunities to get yeah, it. It's literally the last clue. I think we have to wait until that thing is destroyed through something in the sky. According to my blueprints. This sewer should take you underneath Neela's headquarters. Oh, the sewer electricity. Oh god, oh god, tentacle. Oh boy. Wait. This is what you want to see. Oh, Anybody remembering my Silent Hill 3 lines. run? Because, uh... <laughs> Stick a toaster in there. I'm fine. <laughs> Work for Heather Mason and we work the slide. Looks like we got lucky. 
The Contessa's men have already excavated Neela's satellite cable. How should I proceed? Splice in the wiretap, then attach the voice modulator. I'll broadcast from the safe house to make sure it works. Hey, this is going to be so cool. Yeah, that sure is, Bentley. How do you know you're cool? Mm. That's true. Mm -hmm. Uh, hello, mercenary tank forces. Watch any new turrets for me. Cats, this is cool. Uh, I mean, you are all really cool. Carry on. Oh. <laughs> so cool. I love when, I love when boss gets on the loudspeaker to tell us that we're cool. Yeah. It keeps me motivated. When mm -hmm. I'm doing really crimes. Is. Really keeps the morale up. I love, I love to be motivated to do crimes by being told how cool I am, which I already know because I am doing crimes. Yes. But, so I guess they're technically military or cops or something, which isn't cool. But like we're having to operate from a first-person perspective, and thus we have to have a little bit of bending of reality for a second. Mm -hmm. A little bending of logic. Looks like it's Bentner's turn. Bentley, or Murray, both of them cops. Ooh. Ooh. We did already have a Bentley mission today. Let's speed the Murray. I mean, first we're gonna Oh yeah, absolutely. You gotta sell. So close. Oh gosh. Do you wanna see if you can get a few more coins? Uh I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay. It's like not the Inferno drop is basically just like an AoE to an ability he already has, I think. Like adds fire. Which is great. Don't get me it's wrong. Lovely, but, uh... it, it's a modulator for an ability you already have and therefore not as necessary. Just very useful. that last clue up there. Ah. Um, yeah, that one is tricky to get to. It, it's not disruptible. It either takes a very special jump or it, it takes, like, maybe some kind of story that thing is destroyed. It's been decades. At least a while. <laughs> I mean, I think... I think I played through all three games in like two nights when the HD collection, which is what we're playing now, came out. And then I just waited until Sly 4 to come out. And that was the end of my play of all the Sly games, and I've been waiting for you to finish up with at least the core trilogy before yeah. I jump back into them. What you're doing now? Murray, use both yeah. sticks to drive the tank. Press both up to move okay. forward, both down to go in reverse, and in opposite directions to rotate. Oh, to fire your turret, tap the Two R1 tank button. Controls. You'll need to take out six tanks to get the job done. Okay, this thing where we oh, oh. Oh. Here we go. Yes. Get a clue. Why don't you? We gotta get a clue. Okay, guys, I'm in a tank. <laughs> He's very excited. Remember, all sticks up to move forward. Just pretend you're playing Katamari down the scene. And in opposite directions <laughs> to rotate. The R1 button fires your turret. Thankfully, aiming is very much like Doom rather than like any other shooter. You just nice to concentrate as you get used to these controls because for everyone at home, I assure you, it doesn't quite control as smoothly as you would want it to. Right. <laughs> and thus, it takes a second. I always have to redo this one a couple of times. Oh! And 
Fuck that gazebo. Screenshot. <laughs> oh, terrible. I mean, I just. Remember, oh, it's all good. Both down for reverse and in opposite directions to rotate. The R1 button fires your turret. You know what? Here's a prompt for the chat. What's your favorite tank controls in a game? What's your game? Um. We can, we can get weird. We can like pull from like the weird mini games in Slide or in Spyro 3. We can uh. I don't, I don't know if I have favorite tank controls or much <laughs> as I have a favorite game that occasionally features tank controls. But you know what, Ben Divers, <laughs> let's go ahead and include that lump in the middle. If you got I one or the other, I don't really think about the tank segments in a lot of games <laughs> to remember. Really, all I'm thinking of is um, the one Mario Party mini game. So I guess that. The one that used to be called, um, uh, well, what is it called now? Tread Carefully or something? <laughs> that is pretty good. Yeah, it used to be called Shell Shocks. <laughs> they were like, oh, we shouldn't do that. No. Um, you made it out a great name. Yeah! Mighty <laughs> Tank. Ooh. Uh, I'm trying to think of, like, so... <laughs> My Tiniature Tank. It's like... I have a lot of games with tank controls, like, I enjoy a classic Resident Evil nowadays. I didn't before, and now I do in Resident Evil 4. Um, I... So... Let's see. Here's the problem. I have a lot of memories that are on the tip of my tongue. Mm. So aggravating. Mm. Oh, I should you know not have asked a question I did not have a crap to answer for. <laughs> Tyro 3 did have a decent, like, a decent-ish tank minigame, if I recall. Oh yeah, all the minigames in Fire nice Apart from maybe the cool anything involving ice was <laughs> pretty good. And even then, you could have fun with those. Yeah, I played those a lot as a kid. The, like, little hockey segments. I don't know why. They're not that fun. <laughs> No, but, but like I, <clears throat> oh, okay. No, I do actually know why I did it. It's because I really liked Spyro's ice skating animation, and so oh, I just wanted to oh. watch. That's a very Ryan little... Like that. His ice skating yeah. animation is up notch. It's so he's so smooth. He glides so he's, yeah. That's a great and so yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to watch that. I think. Ooh, you know what? Technically, okay, it does count because it has the controller for it. Virtual on. Twin sticks, it, it has the exact same controls as the tanks in this game. You're like, like, I mean, Katamari Damacy also fits, but my answer is virtual on because, like, you can play the giant Sailor Moon robot with tank controls. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that rules. Yeah. It's just good. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I avoid tank controls like the plague. So whenever Fair. someone mentions the term tank controls, I nope out of the conversation. That's <laughs> <laughs> fair. Mm -hmm. There are some good games with them, but more often than not, and I always hate saying this, more often than not, it's in spite of the tank controls rather than because of them. Yeah. Tank controls Ooh. are just bad. There is a Scooby-Doo game that Ooh. has tank controls Ooh. um that you can make shaggy drift <laughs> and and so i think that's my favorite tank controls in a video game okay. dog drift dog yeah drift no no oh, shaggy talking shaggy talking oh. a human man shaggy. so D A W G or W G <laughs> drift mm. at best yeah exactly oh i i kind of gotta know what that is now because like yeah, let me try to figure out which. I've, uh... I've played a few Scooby Doo games, and there are some actually decent ones. There's a really great point and click adventure on the Sega Genesis that I really like. Um, 
but like how do these I've been wanting to try, even though I know they have to be not super high quality. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's like a PlayStation 1 or 64 game, or, ooh, I, I think it's a PlayStation game, or no, maybe, maybe this is N64. Yes, okay, N64, uh, we do classic creep games. Ooh, came out in 2000. Filled with whirling, um, razor sharp spikes might scare me. God, in fact, terror. Yeah, I gotta. It's the yeah, only way to find the. Let me find it. I put it some drifting. Without that thing online, we'll never okay. get at the clockwork. Weirdly, I some of the better models I've seen for this era of Scooby Doo. Just make sure those traps <laughs> don't rip you into a hundred little turtle pieces. Yeah. Why did you have to say that? It also leads me to believe that this is like a collection of different monsters rather than having like one Ura monster to kind of like um, set the pace and tone for the entire experience, kind of like that weird cyberspace one mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that they all like that they did make a video game about. The cyberspace one was kind of a trip. It was weird. It was also the one where um, we got to see multiple eras of. Could we do gang? Yeah. Because the cyberspace one was based like an old, based oh, on yeah. an old generation, like complete with like color variants. <laughs> Ooh. Three episodes in this game are retellings, and the fourth is an entirely original mystery. Oh. Kind of neat. And the Game Boy Color version is a point-and-click adventure. Which oh, honestly is just... Cute. Like, point-and-click is such a good idea for mm -hmm. a Scooby-Doo game. It really is. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that's like you true. You can even get a good chase sequence down in a point-and-click. Mm -hmm. In fact, the Sega Genesis one has a hallway. Uh, a a room-filled hallway sequence. Yes! Perfect. And I believe a puzzle is involved with it. Oh, you wow. have to, like, set it up exactly right. Oh, good. Again. It's pretty good. It's not like fantastic, but Babby's first graphical adventure, it's an excellent one. Well, okay, this is actually really fun. Just good old Bentley platforming? Mm. Yeah. He's such a little old school platforming mascot in a way. <laughs> no, that's true. I, I wouldn't Steve mind a Bentley styled platformer like this. Just a little mm -hmm. guy who sucks as a platformer, mm -hmm. but does mm -hmm. his best. Yes. I love you. <laughs> and I don't know too much about Tiny... I think I played Tiny Tank back when I was a kid, um, but I never... Oh god, that is drift. It's so good. This is Judge Jamiroquai's virtual insanity <laughs> without, yeah. without the room moving. Yeah. This is just a dude who knows how to drift. I'm very pleased. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. This acid battery should do the trick. Just walk close to the uh -huh, electrode and... Aha! This ass! Aha! Uh -huh, this ass! Prepare to be asked, <laughs> you knave! Knave! <laughs> oh, there we go. Bentley is so good. He really is. He, he is one of my favorite um, video game characters. He just has so much personality. Mm -hmm. and he doesn't quite have the sensitivity down all the time. <laughs> Well, yes, I do believe in black magic, and I'm going to keep calling it that. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Like, if it weren't for that, he would be a perfect character. <laughs> I'll get you, Contessa. 
Oh, how many times must you say that? It's not going to happen. I'm dead serious. I'll get you. I'll get you. I'll get you. I mean it. I'll get you. I yes, mean. yes, so I've heard. God. <laughs> I, I do Wait, love psychiatrist she is. I love it is different down, villain. Two to go. Mm -hmm. Right? It's so horny. Very horny, like I said. I, I, Unbelievable. I, I, I know what I'm going to find if I try to type for the scene okay. in Google. Ready for another session of hacking well, maybe not this day. Uh, maybe not these days, but you know. You know. I know the I know the sites. Oh. oh I know death. the domains. I know the domains. Okay, <laughs> ready for another session of hacking mastery. We really should have used domain more often. Yeah. Oh yeah. We have heard the websites. I mean, I also just miss keyword and World Wide Web. I don't think it does. It kind of had its own thing going on. Also, I love this contraption, this doohickey. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah, this is a real fucking doohickey. This is something that I would have built as a small child. <laughs> like, yes, this is how mechanical work. This is science! <laughs> What's its purpose? Okay, to be scientific! It moves and, you know? <laughs> I really do just like wanna milk that shot. Uh, <laughs> they got Bentley with the contraption. Oh god. <laughs> One of those memes that um, just will continue to exist. The contraption. The contraption. When your doohickey actually keeps intruders away. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Haley Bug. Hello. Uh, God. I mean, I, I love a contract. Like, I think, I think this is something we really lose okay. in a lot of modern games. Now, there's fewer doohickeys. There are fewer yeah. doohickeys. Mm -hmm. There are nearly as many contraptions. Like, mm -hmm. to be fair, Tears of the Kingdom is making up for lost time. Oh, that, that is Yeah, I was gonna game. say. We, that's we are. Game. Like, they shoved Little Big Planet into a Zelda, and boy, mm -hmm. did we get some contraptions and doohickeys and thingamabobs. I love me some mm. Legend of Zelda. Okay, that's involved. ready for another <laughs> session of. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> he just decided that. Oh, he was God. done with you right away. And I look over and I see Spike okay, Vegeta fighting in Jor. About 40 minutes underestimate, too. Yeah, sorry, we have GDQ on in the background. It's been on this whole time, like, mm -hmm. all, ever since it started, because we are GDQ nuts. And, uh, oh boy, there have been some good ones. Mm -hmm. uh, they did a Shadow the Hedgehog run earlier, and... Oh, God. It does bear mentioning that the runner... Did have Shadow the Hedgehog themed hair. Yeah. Died for the show. Oh, that's really important. Yeah, she was that's a great runner so too. Beautiful. I. I know. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm gonna skip past Ready the Shinzo Abe thing. <laughs> um, okay. I'm acknowledging it, AJ. I I would I I would love to, but I don't. Know how deeply I want to go into that me. Too soon. Too soon. <laughs> I mean, it's bad, <laughs> uh, and Sonic Adventure DX Rally Run was really good. Um, I am a good GDQ. Like they also did Sly One the other day, and uh, a good GDQ will make you really feel like you just don't know shit. About your favorite games. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> Can we just be honest? <laughs> just innocent, man. <laughs> just innocent. We're just normal, normal men. <laughs> just We're just gamers. normal gamers. <laughs> That's not true. That's no such thing. Uh, no, never. Like, there are no, no ordinary gamers. cats. There are no normal gamers. <laughs> There's no, so, no, no innocent gamers. <laughs> Playing my favorite games makes me feel like that anyway. Mm, that's fair and true. Yeah. 
I mean, every time I watch you, like, there is actually one game that I saw being run that made me go, I need to learn how they did that. And that was Jet, Jet Grind Radio, when they just skipped past all the spray painting and just blasted through the game. Oh, gee. Hmm. Maybe I should approach <laughs> this. You're, you're your not end. wrong. Bentley Instead is a great A terrorist in this game mind. after bombing bridges and using his RT, RC chopper to bomb ego. guards. Yes. And, and, like, this is. I mean, he is using guerrilla tactics. He absolutely is. He's, he's the one who's just going the hardest with him. Oh, yeah. Man. He can't what use guerrilla can tactics. He's a turtle. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> turtle tactics. <laughs> He's turtle tactics. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, listen. <laughs> this is this is sensitive territory. Bentley joins Avalanche. <laughs> I mean, they were ego terrorists. Mm. Final Fantasy VII is a game about. Eco terrorism. Mm -hmm. At least in the first half. I think they even explicitly used the term in the. Yeah. Um, because the remake is very good and really likes to lean on the fact that they are doing these things and they have an effect on the society. Mm -hmm. Ooh, why are you on the We have an effect on society. Have an effect on society. I feel like we need a t-shirt that's like all artists political having yeah. society. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, and Haley brings up the fact that uh Candy King did commit war crimes. He did. He burned down an entire village. And we mm -hmm. had to watch him do it. Yeah. We didn't know he was gonna do that and he did it before our very eyes. And <laughs> then Carmelita decided that we were just as bad. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she we tried to ask it. if she thought that we were just as bad, and she was just like, "Don't confuse the issue. You're a bad guy. That's all." She's like, is. "Shut up." Yeah. <laughs> the complicated moral compass of Sly Cooper. Yeah. Mm, true. Oh, during the GDQ run, when the first Sly Cooper, they were talking about how Tommy is the best character, and I'm like, "How? How?" Oh. Oh. It, it's it's tough, right? Because like it's because she's pretty. I mean, no. yes, she is, and it's a problem because I have to remind myself, a cap every time I look at her, and <laughs> I feel like the promise of her character is more interesting. Like she's she's got the setup for a good Zenigata. Mm, she yeah. could be, but too but she focused isn't. on her the sex symbol mm -hmm. to actually let her do. It. Yeah, mm. and like. Occasionally, like those moments where she's just like, "Okay, Cooper, I'll help." It's tough. Um, those Ooh. moments are really good because they almost hit the nail on the head of what it needs to be. Almost. And Inspector then they just Fox. why fight it? Don't you back. want to be my friend? Just no. Like... You horrible four kind of cow. pushes no. things in a good direction, I think. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Computer powered up. My work here is in questionable way. Right, questionable ways. Yeah. <laughs> Me looking at Lucy a Street Fighter. Listen, everybody's got that one fictional cop that they're just like, you know what? Me looking at Columbo. <laughs> Me looking at Rosa from Brooklyn Nine Nine. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have a Sailor Moon analog for it's every situation. It's time to wage war on the castle. One. Yeah, of and course. in the confusion, pull off a heist I've named Operation High Road. Officer Jenny First, from Pokemon, who <laughs> <laughs> I don't think is a real cop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, jury's out. Yeah, like I don't, I don't know what her jurisdiction is. Mm -hmm. well, it's hard to tell what she actually does. Over to the Contessa's getaway blimp, and we'll uh, use Haley, it to get I inside her re-education tower. The assault on the castle will well, undoubtedly I'm draw the Shadow Guards off their post, and if we free Inspector yeah. Fox, she's sure to clear out the Contessa. With the Mind Shuffler exposed, I'll plant the bad mojo bomb, and presto, the <laughs> clockwork <laughs> eyes are ours. So if the two of you are ready, let's take our positions and get this thing started. Yeah, it's been a long time for us since we last played, but we've 
but between the two of us, we've played all of them. Um, I've even played the PlayStation Move All-Stars game where Sly was a playable character. Um, yeah. Sly 4, she gets some interesting changes because they actually kind of write her as a character a little bit. Uh, she's very throwaway in the original trilogy, uh, and that keeps up even with Bree, even though they start adding a few more female characters that are, you know, of various All sides, right, Bree, you know, the that are more interesting. And power down those search lights. While you do that, Bentley and I will climb our way up to the top of the castle. Good luck. Last I checked, the fandom was very split on how they felt about her, but... Yeah. But that's because no one likes morally great female characters. <laughs> that's also true. <laughs> yeah. To be honest, that scene from the drug cartel job where she was just walking, uh, talking about told the truth, or this about is, is gonna get ugly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the lights are down, Bentley. Time to call in the cavalry. I'll see if I can find some extra firepower to help out. You want to be and catty at each other was the point where I was Attention, like, okay, I'm so tired. Attention, bloodthirsty mercenary forces. The castle defense is locked down. Seize this opportunity for aggressive military action by pressing an attack on the castle. Charge! For victory! For glory! That should do it! Now that you're done being a warmonger, feel like paragliding <laughs> over to that planet? <laughs> Just make sure to grab the rope hanging off that thing! I don't want to drown! Oh! Piggyback! Pack, back, back, Bentley! Oh my god, yeah! Ooh, and we get a paraglider! Paraglider time! Were we just talking the other day about how every game needs a paraglider? Yes. Remember how this one functions. Oh, I, I can't, I can't wait to figure this out. Uh, do you have... That's good. There's no direction. Okay. Yeah! Yeah, we're just trying to figure out, like, make sure we know what the objective is before we commit. I climbed this party. Woo! <laughs> just make sure to grab the rope hanging off that thing. Yeah. I don't want to drown. Well, you're going to. Oh, Bentley, looks like you don't have a choice. Oh my god, he becomes so small. He does get so small. Whoa! Whoa! That was rude. make sure to grab the rope hanging off. So small, I don't want to drown. He just actively changes size. Right. He literally just actively changes size. God, it's very good. Is this like in the the one Pokemon game when they were like, yeah, Pokemon can just shrink and they all do this and it's normal and mm -hmm. we never talk about it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this could get rough. It's just like, what the fuck are you talking about? It, it's the one way in which Pokemon and Digimon are the same. God. Just information. All right. Yeah. Let's head yeah. for the re-education yeah, tower. Yeah, but like... <laughs> it, it begs the question, but you're never sure what exactly the question needs to be to get the answer you're looking for. Yeah, it just becomes small. It's just like, it's just like in Sonic 06. <laughs> Always goes back to Sonic 06. One day. Literally always goes back to Sonic 06, okay, but there is a power-up in Sonic 06 that you can buy from Alberto Robert. Um, well, okay, you don't buy it from Alberto Robert. Alberto Robert gives you his famous shoes that Sonic can wear, um, that he made himself, um, that he can't wear. <laughs> um, and um and then you put special gemstones in your shoes and they make Sonic shrink and no reason for this and it's so good it's fun it's my favorite well okay it's one of my favorite parts of, it's one of my favorite features of sonic 06. Um, <laughs> Haley just goes neil is airplane mercenaries go Brrr. they don't even like make a loud engine noise it's just kind of like a soft part <laughs> I, I think it might be my favorite because like otherwise it would just be cacophonous <laughs> and instead it's just instinctually funny mm -hmm. oh hell yes 
Oh, the world most mixed about you must die. <laughs> you must die. You must die. And we have Marnie sleeping on my hand. Marnie is just fully on your arm. <laughs> yeah, she's done. She doesn't want to be the star anymore, but she does want to be near the mic, just in case. He has a lot of opinions. He's thinking of starting a podcast. Aw, Marnie. It's That's mostly so it, it's mostly about like oh, tactics yeah. for getting V Bucks in Fortnite, though. So, like it's not gonna be a I'm trying to tell her it's not a great idea. And other types of chicken such as beef. Yeah. Other types of chicken. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sorry, did you ever see that picture floating around the no. internet? No, I don't know anything. Okay. I, I I'm still that. thinking about character shrinking. Sorry. <laughs> it was an old meme picture of a cat sitting on a fence in a funny mm -hmm. way that someone mm -hmm. just captioned to make into a dating profile. Okay. And so the cat would just talk about how much I've he likes chicken. The brain and one of the other things he likes is other types of chicken, such as this. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, yes. new that's best good. friend. Hands up. And I mean all of uh, them. Bestie. My dear, you really should... <gasps> <laughs> oh, she just bolted. Bye. Just glad that Pokemon Home allows Sword and Shield legendaries to be transferred. Oh. That Carmelita, always trying to resolve. I didn't. Sorry, Haley. Sorry, Haley. I always sort of know what that sentence means. Clear, but I'm glad that that happened. That <laughs> I'm glad you can do that with your Pokemon now. Pokemon Home is like the service that like, has been. Bentley. You okay? This is no place It's been a little static. bit shiftily implemented and delayed and paused and brought back. Can you find the other? And it's no been worries, slow Tess. to get it working it's with uh, Scarlet and Violet. Neela? Thanks for clearing out the Contessa. Nothing I did could pry her away from the clock. That's fine. Eyes. Did you know that Abyss Morrow can also shrink bird. in Avengers? Ta -ta. <laughs> Mr. Adventures of Goemon. Bentley, for the take the eye I'm going Another this game is we a need power... to Yeah, this is a power that he gets and uses maybe this twice. Wasn't in the plan. Um, so that's good also. I think... If you had the ability to shrink, just like, to be like a foot tall, would you use it? Would I be able to go back? Yeah, of course. Okay. Anytime. You can do this at any time. I would do it all the freaking time. Yeah, me too. I would get into so many places. I would become small and sleep. I would like, I would, I mean, I would literally just do what my cat does and take naps like under the bed. Right. Or um, in a box or, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I would try to play a video game so that I could feel the way I did when I was three playing on the NES. Just this tiny little creature looking up at a TV that seemed like it was like seven feet in the air, but it was actually like two. Well, that, that, <laughs> that makes sense. That tracks to me. I, I would also probably like be tiny and play a Game Boy just to remember how it felt in my hands when I was very small. Yeah, classic brick Game Boy. Yeah. Heads up, Bentley. Which You're we have under fire. at this house. Get to the blimp's turn and stay yes, sharp. I still have my original from childhood. And it still yeah. works just fine. It just yeah. needs a little cleaning. Yeah, I still have my uh, shelf. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So do yeah, we just have the paraglider permanently now? Like. Oh my god. Cool. We were mentioning okay. before how every game after Breath of the Wild just needs to have a paraglider. Yeah. It's true. It's sort of like when you don't have it, you really notice it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, driving me crazy though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Finally. Other thing I would do is um, probably um, wrestle with my dogs because they would be huge, and so it would Marty, be more. Finally, have like, a fight buddy to deal with you. Yeah. Me. <laughs> yeah. Me. Oh, that would be good though. Okay, I changed mm. my answer to that. I fight my cat. That's good. That's a good, a good fight. fight. Yeah, a good fight. 
I would not punch my cat. Oh, already oh. punch you. Uh, no. Um, that's nice. I mean, Mar Marnie does try to punch. She does yeah, punch she, she, I've she, seen cats punch. punch. That's why I asked. She's more of a biter. Yeah. Which is weird because she's not the blood. She's just really not. Blood. Yeah. So, like, yeah, some cats just love to bite. Chubby loves to bite. He doesn't have any teeth fire. anymore, but he Get doesn't know or care. <laughs> yeah, we had a cat like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Continued yeah. eating dry kibble, regardless oh, of yeah. the fact that she had, like, one tooth. Yeah, yeah. I've mentioned that um, Chubby caught two mice. Um, when we first moved here, and that was um, that was six months after, like more than six months after that, he finally had his last tooth taken out. <laughs> um, I don't know, and and you know, I got one of them, but the other one I did not get it before it was uh, gone. So I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know <laughs> what he did. <laughs> clearly, he does just fine without, uh, thing. Silly, silly little okay. things like teeth. Okay, so, Haley, um, while it is not mandatory, it is within cultural expectations, within this community, that if you have cats, you are allowed to talk about them. Because yeah. we, we know about so many cats on this channel. I mean, yeah, we know several cats by their own, by them. Yeah. Um, we we got a cat adopted on this channel. Oh, <laughs> it, it, that's it is right. just past the one year anniversary I of forgot. the Pro Chan's cat Jack being adopted by. Them. Yeah, I didn't realize that because she was telling me she was also um, telling me about it when she was thinking about it. Um, I didn't realize that she was uh, like on chat. I just think that's fire. great. I just yeah, think it's great that Jack had a big <laughs> Jack had a big fandom. Oh going. yeah. Pro is him. the one who will make sure that that fandom goes far and wide. Mm hmm With perfect yeah. Jack picture. We love that. Mm -hmm. He's a good I mean, he's great, he's very handsome. He's a beautiful he's a beautiful young man. And I love to see him. Oh, oh, oh. Female, Garfield. female fat Garfield, and then we have the other cat, Nitro, which she is. She is sweet as a cinnamon roll. Oh, good. Girlfield! I love a girlfield. Yeah, oh, that too. actually reminds me, there's an artist who's been posting. Yeah, like girl their own Garfield Sona. Yeah, I see, I see. I see her. Um, good oh, Garfield yeah. Sona. I love. Uh, I love Anthro Garfield so much. I love every single one. They're all so cute to me. Very good. Genuinely. Genuinely. Cute heart like, for Anthro Garfield. Like, I just appreciate that, like, nobody's a fan of Garfield, but everybody loves the idea of Garfield and just keeps making new content with Garfield all the time. Yeah, that's yes. the thing. It's like, well, I have such a nostalgia for genuinely reading and enjoying the comics. You as really a, should um, watch where you're going. Young, this place is it's dangerous. the perfect like, kids comic. Very young child. It's a very good kids comic. Um, and it's especially good Don't when you um, your dad is, is the type it's of guy who still gets the newspaper every morning and brings it in and reads it and does the crossword and then gives you the comics to read, um, the funny pages. Um, uh, yeah, it's one of the, it's one of the few comics that I think a seven-year-old can really grasp on to out of the Sunday page. Um, especially in this situation, but it's our newspaper. Oh, yeah. well, well, good news. Uh, we did harm a cat who deserved to be harmed. Nila is out of commission. And mm -hmm. now we have to fight the very forces that we once commanded under false pretense. So sorry. That's fine. <laughs> You're shooting a plane. Oh, I love It's plain to see. Just winging these jokes. Hey! Right. Yes. 
but we'll propel our way through this. Just fine. Thank, thank you. Uh, <laughs> uh, um. Watch out. Oh. <laughs> it, 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 it gets a little Mega, hard Mega, to like Mega, keep yeah. that ball rolling. No. May May Day. It's no no. Anyway, good cat. <laughs> <laughs> License to video games. <laughs> mm-hmm. 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 Listen, um, I, it, is, it is a challenge to keep the, that string of puns going. It um, really is. Moon. Sorry. It's the absolute cockpits. <laughs> um. Was it just me, or did the moon texture, like... Oh, that moon has been flat. Uh-huh. It, okay. it, it has it has angles. Okay, okay. I I yeah, I okay, guys, I'm heading out for a just, rendezvous. There's a moment where I looked at the moon for a certain angle. Won't save you. <laughs> First of all, hey, it doesn't look great. I can't do anything. I can't believe you shot out the guy to Merciful Hayes. I'm going down. It's a blimp, so it's a slow fall. And you take oh, out that a huge man. While you're at it. <laughs> yeah. That I belongs to me, and I want Cat. it back. Oh, no way. Thank you. Do you think I'm Good crazy? Joke. Actually, on second thought, don't answer that. I really don't want your professional opinion. Not crazy, just stupid. You're an ignorant stupid. child playing dress up in his father's legacy. Oh, I know all about you and the Cooper clan. Then you'll understand why this eye needs to be destroyed. Short-sighted fool! I have no interest in your narrow interpretation of morality. Yeah, but gotta be careful you don't that. find, find a good good and evil. Evil. And material. you think I give the mm -hmm. eye to someone that's above it, morality? Enough talk, insect. It will be just as easy and more fun to pry it from so, your cold, dead hand. We made hike. Yes. Enter in the building! Oh, 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 you're fighting. That's the boss. Yeah, we're in the stream. Fighting now. And we're fighting a large black widow dummy. Mm -hmm. That is exactly how she should be described. Mm -hmm. That's who she is. <laughs> Absolutely not. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. Mm -hmm. Don't spiders feel their prey more than they ever see their prey? Can he do? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but she also has like grab claws in the face of a human woman. She's a lobster. Yeah, she's got yeah. a lot going on. So yeah, she's versatile. She's multi-classic. Um, she called her way into an idol, uh, uh, an ideal villain. Mm -hmm. Get a leg up on the competition. Mm -hmm. Alright, I just gotta weave these jokes whenever I can. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, just, I was listening to... What a, and what a web you weave, Robin. Huh? It said, and what a web you weave, Robin. <laughs> web weave, Robin. Come on. Oh. You're almost there. there go. One last smack on the ass. Enough. You've Damn. shown me the error of my ways. What is this I feel sorry for you. All your education and you still don't know right from wrong. Huh? Oof. I know oh, enough not okay. to let my guard down mm -hmm. around an intellectually superior opponent. I guess tactically. You could find out she if Spider has plus Do not! <laughs> She's got the eye! <laughs> I mean, only because of the way she was laying. Only because of that this fucking Trigon guy. pose. <laughs> right? <laughs> Oh god. Shoot at her face. 
Carmelita versus and Murray versus Tank Man. Who's the battle tanks? And then making the tank controls unprompted. Oh god, they just yeah, they just like slip you right in. Yeah. That's just rude. The worst kind of mini game is one that has no build up. At least you could run everybody over. Weirdly satisfying. Mm-hmm. Just put it all on a single stick now. Get another stick for oh my camera, baby! <laughs> Thankfully, it's on a circuit. Oh, that, that's terrible, actually, because that means that I actually have to kill her instead of just catch up with her. This is awful. Do you want me to do it? No. Okay. Oh, it's not on the circuit. Jesus. Okay. But you do gotta blow her up. How's this thing you gotta blow her up? What's this do? And this? Guys, help! <laughs> took the eye I did miss that part. She's trying to get away in one of the Contessa's tanks. Don't worry about it, little buddy. I won't let her get away. There, we've missed every bit of dialogue. <laughs> yeah. Shoot at her tank to My apologies. Listen, we got really excited about serial mascots. I did get really excited about serial mascots and shrinking. Note to self, avoid explosive barrels. Good note, Murray. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Murray. I mean, play The Legend of Zelda lately. Yep. <laughs> mm-hmm. Nothing quite satisfies like a moblin just picking up an explosive barrel and chucking it at your head and failing it. <laughs> Try to shoot, I just end up shooting the thing. It's in a way that I shouldn't, because I have to be touching both of them constantly. No. She leaves a stink trail you can follow, though. She so that's stink... good. Yeah. But if I'm not close enough to it to be able to shoot her, then she'll just escape anyway. Mm. I believe. There you go. I'll grab the eye while Carmelita's mm -hmm. still stuck in her tank. Then come around to pick up Bentley for a quick exit. Yeah. Any sort of game. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to get a lot of hits, but... It's the it's the Shadow Mario method. You just sort of keep no doing it run. until we both know I she can falls down. Fight. <laughs> so why don't you just hand over the eye? You're right, Cooper. In a battle of strength, you've proven yourself. But with this clockwork eye, I can battle in your mind. Mm. Yeah, the battle is in my mind. <laughs> Leave it to <laughs> Cooper! Yeah! Oh, and then he does the cool rap battle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that it's like Cooper would be charmed by Parappa. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's hard not to be charmed by Parappa, to be fair. He's a very charming young man. Uh, oh, God. I want to get by the green. It's her head very large. There's a way to avoid her hypnosis giving you damage. Just twirl, slide, and circle. That's interesting. 
If we manage to avoid getting hit or by it for the rest of the battle, I'll be okay with it, but I would love to see that. You've got a strong mind, Cooper. I never would have guessed. I thought you were so dumb. <laughs> I Just a real doo doo head. <laughs> Just a real dum dum. Just a no nothing good for nothing. Things hadn't dum gone dum exactly as planned, but the contestant was beaten, <laughs> and the clockwork eyes were finally mine. Oh, well, that's what they're supposed. The Contessa was arrested and brought to trial for the crime she committed while working for Interpol. <laughs> Their PR damage control went one step further by promoting Neela, the hero of Prague, to the rank of captain. Carmelita, still on the outs with Interpol, had to run with the rest of us. To my surprise and eternal delight, I got to help my favorite policewoman escape from the cops. Oh, yeah. I tried to put it all out of my mind. This claw business was spiraling out of control and I knew that my gang was at the center of it. We'd be back in action soon enough, but for now, well, we just laid low for a while. You just know how to layer on the gags in these cutscenes. Mm-hmm. Very good. Well, that was a heist and it's a little past 9.30 and we have Jean mm -hmm. on the next, so how you feeling, mm -hmm. Ryan? It's bedtime. <laughs> All right. Stopping point right there. Yeah, I was mm -hmm. like, like you kind of went right through, like mm -hmm. couple aside. You really did blast through that height. It was very straightforward. I mean, I'll probably mm -hmm. hop in here see if that. Is Evo clue? Yeah, see if it happens to be available now that you know stuff has happened. Right. Yeah. Or yeah. if there's something else that I need to figure out. But we'll just like. Be walking around here. For yeah. Mm -hmm. Nope. It's right there. It's right there, sitting on a fully intact gazebo. You have a paraglider. I have a paraglider. Just get up high and drift down. <laughs> I have a paraglider. I have a paraglider. The possibilities are endless. Mm -hmm. After all, these gliders. you have a paraglider. <laughs> Para mm -hmm. these gliders. Hey! Uh, <laughs> it's true. Uh. <laughs> oh, I remember that happened last week. Yup. So, we'll go ahead and like start our outro um, yeah. while you get this last blue bottle, and maybe we can start with picking up the safe next time, unless you know exactly where it is. Um, I do know exactly where it is. Um, I mean gonna have trouble remembering like exactly exactly where it is. Yeah, I know um, that one. But we did happen across it earlier. It was in one of the bathrooms. Ah, okay. okay. No, no it won't. It, 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 but uh, we we, <laughs> we have an inkling of where it is. Fine. Yeah. Uh so <laughs> Uh, start with the outro. Uh, playing today has been Lark with an E at Scooch with a Z. Hello! Um, and with her today has been me, Robin at Interjack without a C, and the lovely ineffable Ryan Kingdom. I'm ineffable! Hooray for ineffability! Love Thank to be you. ineffable. Not, not, a, not a single infant thing to be. I don't know. Um, <laughs> and this has been Robin and Jack without a C's channel. Um, we will be back with more Sly 2 uh, next Wednesday. Yes. Um, and uh, let's see, what else? Uh, for those of you who uh, have been paying attention to the Spotlight games, we'll be playing Fatal Frame 4 uh, starting for the people in the chat it tomorrow. Me here. Heck yes. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, even that, uh, do you want to go get the save? Uh, I will be making my way there. Okay, so VOD is available uh, six days after initial airing, completely free if you want to support the channel. Uh, like, there are a lot of different ways to do it, but you can just check out my link tree and you can check our social media. Uh, all my social media and my link tree is at AndrewJack.C and you can find their Twitters uh, listed. Literally on the screen. Um, Twitter, 
isn't about the only place I am other than Tumblr these days. <laughs> which should probably change eventually, but I'm still there. Stubborn. <laughs> Listen, no social media site is safe from bullshittery. Honestly. By right this here. point, it's all just like a crapshoot. Yeah. <laughs> Take what you can get, find, find your fellow freaks that you want to sell to, and be around, and just stay there. <laughs> Truth. So, for for Ryan and for Lark, uh, well, actually, we are safe. Here. Safe. We have Smooth. to get to the end of the follows. We are here. Yay! I didn't think you would be so close because it really is just right there. You just got to beat up some guys. Right. <laughs> like this. This was way closer than I expected it to be. I didn't think that they were actually going to get the indicator for what the safe was. Yeah. I walked by it. I guess they were just like, you don't need to remember. It's fine. Right. We got you. Security around the Contessa castle is tight. She must have something really good in here. Punch in 969. Nice. Nice. Ooh, Confusion bombs? Mm. You've gotten the Thanks. rage bomb move! Wow! He's so excited! He's so excited! Possibly be. <laughs> okay, so that's it. We 100% of the episode. So, on, on behalf of Ryan and Mark, thank you all for coming. Get hydrated, get vaccinated, get messed up, be good. Be safe. Be awesome. And be gone. Bye, everybody.